All right, I'll go show what trees I planted just four of them. But all right, so this willow tree is 20 years old. It has provided lots of babies. We've the Sears across the street. Oh, I hate, hate that they moved in. That was about 15 years ago. They had a low water spot, so we gave them just break a twig off and stick it in the ground, and it soaks up all the water. There's no water here. That water barely trickles now. Um, that Norway maple. I'm an asshole who doesn't know how to zoom. Norway maple is uh, geez, 15 years old, I think, maybe. I don't know. I planted it there. I buried my cat there. My favorite cat ever. My goozle nader. Eater of worlds, destroyer of planets. That was his actual full name. The vet at Monmouth had, had to call it out that way. I did that for, them, for him, I think. And um, there's an azalea there for him. I believe Mom planted it. Let's go down. This area actually stays pretty wet. There was a lot of water here two weeks and jeez two weeks ago i got my jeep no when did i get my jeep stuck i got my piece of shit four-wheel drive with mud setting vehicle stuck over here let's see let's go take a tour see if this rut filled in You gotta start here anyway. I knew how to edit. We do a little magic trick. So myself and one of the barn guys, when we had barn guys, replaced this culvert here. <laughs> and this clearly was the third time. Um, Cause there was an old, old culvert there. You can actually see the nylon rope. There's a culvert in there. I was able to back in with my Jeep and tow one out for the scrap guys. And then I went to get the second one and my Jeep just sunk like quicksand because it was, it felt dry enough, but the ground was just a sponge. Hell, even last week at a, at a celebration of life in Maine, it was a sponge. Bone dry now was my point. That's fine because it is. we may get up to two inches of rain tonight, which is what I was waiting on to plant these trees. All right, we have, we have the first almond tree. And this is the bullshit part. The company I ordered from, I'm not going to say their name because maybe they know what they're doing and this will work. I ordered two zone five almond trees. Look around. Know how to plant a fucking tree. <laughs> so I ordered two zone five because it's Maine and it's pushing it. I even said to people it's pushing it. And so these two came and it was two zone six hardy hall trees, which I looked at, but they were zone six. And so I didn't order them. I clearly wouldn't have ordered two zone six. I ordered two different zone fives because you needed two different types to cross pollinate. And the instructions for these are they're semi self fertile, but get a Texas almond and they'll be abundantly fertile. I wouldn't have done that. And I looked at the price of the order and I looked at my order. It says I ordered it. And there was no way I ordered that. <laughs> I don't know if they could change it after the fact. What's going on there? Uh, just a vulture. I don't know if they could change it after the fact. Because the price is right. For what I said it was. But then I also said. Huh. The trees I ordered are no longer online. I'm glad I got it when I did. So the price might have been. The same for these hardy halls is what I'm saying. So that might not matter. 
What matters is I clearly wouldn't have ordered two zone six trees, two of the same type, when I thought I was pushing it with zone five. And that is my complaint. But whatever, they're in. It's, it's gonna be zone it's gonna be zone six here soon enough. Let's see what happens. Maybe maybe they get insider info and I'm well ahead of the curve. So let's try to pick this up. This is just Great wild strawberries now. Hey, and it goes, we'll go to low to the ground. But. Okay, so one of these is going to be a Honeycrisp and one a Cortland. Why a Honeycrisp and a Cortland? Well, for starters, they're two separate species that can cross pollinate and they're ready for my zone. Huh tricks so shout out to you guys thank you that's fine there's the honey crisp dug a hole see you in a couple of years oh it needs this it needs that dig a dig a hole stick it in the ground look at these wild strawberries don't worry about stepping on them. <laughs> they, you run them over, they bounce back. I mean, this is... Last year, I, I ate a lot. We have deer, we have turkey, we have moose, we have... And anything in Maine we have here, except for bear. Never seen a bear. But uh, there was enough that, you know, we could just go out. Just when I was on my vacation... Just go out and just eat and eat and eat and eat and eat. It was incredible. I've never seen it. And it just keeps spreading and spreading and spreading. And it's going to that far field now. It hasn't crossed the racetrack yet. But with the racetrack going the grass, it may. That's exciting. I mean, how do I how do I harvest wild strawberries and make premium preserves? I mean, wonder what to do when. Nature is right here telling you what to do, right? So this one, the hole's not that deep. It just looks like because these are big chunks. This is the uh, Cortland. I'm like glad these are in. Up to two inches of rain. Do your thing. See you in three years, too. Also. Oh, only one. Only one tick on me so far. You'll never take me alive, asshole. Whatever. Eat the lever, dumb fuck. Alright, and then last almond. The other hardy hall. Which, if you recall from episode one down there, I did not order. Tell me that's not going to make a great nursery. That's all shit. Invasive. It's some berry, like bitter berry you could make a jam out of. But it's invasive and that's taking over. So we're renting the backhoe. Anyway, there's some projects to do. That needs about a week of backhoeing. I'm just going to yank these all out. <laughs> yank them all out. And jeez, man, why not just put... Put a uh, blueberry bush or something in every hole. Look how evenly spaced those are. And that, we didn't do that. Nature put that in a spaced row. That's insane. So, that's, that's a thought. I, I like to put it out there. I don't know how ambitious it is. It seems pretty feasible. They're young, the ground's soft. Just yank them out with the backhoe. Chain them up and yank them out. We'll see. That's it.